Today's episode contains nudity, sexual themes, excessive violence, mention and promotion of drug paraphernalia, harsh language, or suggestive themes that might not be appropriate for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Um... Re ready? Oh, this is beautiful! Oh, look at the little earmuffs! Well, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Awesome. This is so cool. I've always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. The next, he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license. Everything. He just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard it is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it, sound, uh, what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this. But I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and, when, and one ended up in Miss Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah. So I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed, an, as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag felt horrible, though. The poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came. Just as the, as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked up after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me, to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, 
The rabbit. Mrs. Sanderson. Everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty. It had the form of a man. Wait a minute. We've seen that before. And the eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear I've seen it in the building. Just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's, there's, there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about these ghosts. See if we can get uh, to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. And I am going to put on my glasses because, oh boy, I should have done that at the start of the recording, but your boy is uh, not too bright. There we go. Nothing useful in here. Huh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. So we have a, a Gear Boy cartridge that tracks things? Okay. So... So what if we go back to the fifth floor? Because if it, if it reacts to supernatural or preternatural forces, then it should start going haywire up there. Um... Nature life. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't even... I don't think I've even watched a concert or TV on, on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. Some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. What's in this box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. Never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. It's getting pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. Um, let me just check the chest one more time. Got that weird box from here. Doesn't seem to be anything else of note. Okay, so I guess we're good. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. 
I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Okay, so... I'm going to... Oh. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go... Oh, that's Lisa. Who's Megan? Do we know a Megan? Oh, look! Hey, there's me! I wonder how much time has passed. See, I... I I'm gonna have to find this Megan, but I really want to test out my floor, my fifth floor theory. Who are you? Chug, what are you up to? Oh boy, I have to figure out. Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the vending machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see that new Rico's Modefish wife episode? I can almost guarantee I didn't read that correctly. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Okay, bye, Chug. I think we mentioned him earlier. Uh, so something that I didn't... I didn't notice before. Have there always been security cameras? Because there was one outside and there's one here. And I... I definitely would have noticed that. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. So that, that must have been added recently. Probably in the... You know, the aftermath of... Um, I think it was Mr. S Mrs. Sanderson? Pretty sure. Who got killed. So let's go to the fifth floor. Does my gear boy react? Locked. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe it that Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here. What's up? Wait, hang on. I didn't... I didn't see a ghost. The only ghost I saw was that old, like, homeless dude. Is his name Megan? I'm sure we'll figure it out. It's, it's probably not important. Can you can you come up to 504? Sure. My mom just took her medicine, so she's she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. So... What is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. Wait, I couldn't get in here last time. This was locked the last time I was, I was here. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out for a, in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom and talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Hmm. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all finding with, my, with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should... Uh, go talk to uh, talk with Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's always into this supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could he, uh, he could help somehow. Todd, really? Huh? Never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal. 
Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Um... Okay. So I was... I was sort of right. Um... Have I always been able to enter this room? No, I haven't. That's a bloody birdcage. Alright, well, um... My gear boy doesn't seem to be doing anything. Although I had a... Talk to Todd in 202. Okay. Yeah, alright, so let's do that. Todd! Daddy boy! Doster. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, uh, another new voice. Hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Hot diggity damn. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Y yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Todd, you've been holding out on me. Y you too. You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. She a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us. And an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> uh, do you believe in ghosts? I believe in paranormal occurrences and the possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomena firsthand, I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty that I uh, that to declare with certainty that I believe in ghosts, though I do find the subject to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance to your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes. It does seem to be a strange co uh, coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, 
this voice is getting progressively more Nick Cage by the second, and I apologize. <laughs> but that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay. Go ahead and try the same thing here, so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you, we're friends. Hello? Is anyone there? Mm. Nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll, <laughs> I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost the electrical output. So, like an antenna and battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. Um, antenna and battery pack? Where am I going to find that? Um, I guess check the lost and found, and then talk to Larry, and then maybe consult with Chud, or Chud, or however you pronounce his name. I'm guessing it's like the ritual of Chud from Stephen King's It, if anyone's ever seen any of the movies or read the book so let's go back to the basement so here we go nope okay so nothing there what about laundry really who keeps leaving their clothes in here have you seen any ghosts lately Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most of the most times. Ever seen a... Ever seen a demon with red eyes? What? Heck no! Are you trying to give me nightmares? See ya, Chad. See ya! Um... Oh, I can, I can enter. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. <coughs> Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Oh man. Do you have anything I can use? Cause I feel like you could. Have you been drinking Addison tea? Cause that might be what's causing your sickness. Can I get you anything? Don't trouble yourself any, Sal. Larry is <coughs> taking good care of me. Okay. Um, Larry, my boy. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be all right. Just, the change of seasons always gets to her. Just a bad cold. She'll be okay. I'll be back. Yes! Hasta la vista, Sally. Um, I'm going to check the treehouse again. Because there's probably something I can use in there. Hopefully. I need an antenna and a battery pack. 
Where am I gonna find that? Nothing up here, so... Picture. Okay, so that's it. Cabinet, nothing useful. Chest. Okay, so that's... We're, we're good in here. So, I'm gonna start from floor one and work my way back up to my room. It, surely I can run into at least one person who, who knows what I'm looking for. Alright. Floor one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like or a comment down in the comment section below. And why not subscribe and join the Cup Collective today? And if you have a friend or family member that you think might enjoy my content, feel free to recommend me to them. That being said, I want to thank you all again, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.